videos, you may know that I love including inserts in my happy planner. But the issue with that is that if I have an insert in every single week of my happy planner, it starts to get really bulky. So I'm trying to come up with a storage solution for these inserts when they're not in use. So for this, you're going to need some happy planner rings. You can use these from an old happy planner or you can buy, buy them separately. You'll need these dividers from the Target dollar spot. So they were just $1. It will also be helpful to have a hole punch for your happy planner. You'll need to know the size of your tallest insert. It'll be helpful to have a cutter and scissors as well as a ruler. I'm also going to be using some clear sticker paper in order to label my tabs on my dividers. Before I even get started creating this, I want to sort my inserts into different categories. So you may want to sort it by color, sort it by functionality, sort it by the season or the holiday that it was created for. For me personally, I noticed when I was going through my inserts that I have inserts that are from the Me and My Big Ideas inspiration cards, and I have a lot of those, and I have inserts that I created, which you have seen in my previous videos. I also have inserts that fall into the category of other. So these are pocket I think cards from me and my big ideas that were dressed hole punch on the side. I also have things like pieces of scrapbook paper and postcards. And this is actually an example of some scrapbook paper. So often so, when I purchase a pad of scrapbook paper like Maggie Holmes, which I love a scrapbook paper, it'll come with a sheet of paper that is divided into different rectangles. And what I like to do is to cut these rectangles out, punch them in the side, or add them onto the, the card. So for example, so this is the card that I made for my big happy planner one of my big happy planner plan with me and you can see that i just cut this card out and i included it on the insert but i also will sometimes just cut the cards out and punch it in the side hole punch it in the side as i mentioned these dividers are from the target dollar spot because these are pretty standard measurements, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to cut these down to size. My storage system is going to be eight inches tall. You're gonna start off by cutting off 4.7 centimeters off of each end of these dividers. It's pretty cool to fall in love. So now I'm placing my widest insert here to make sure that it's going to be wide enough so it's not poking out. So that's going to be about 16 centimeters for me. You have to make sure that you're including some space for the discs themselves. So right now we're at 16 centimeters by 20 and a half centimeters. So just to clarify, mine is 20.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters and 20.5 centimeters by 16 centimeters if we are including the tab in the size. So when I punch holes in these, I want to make sure that they're all lined up. 
to use the top, the one that's already punched as a guide for the others. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you... So now if we go back through and we flip through, you can see how easy it's going to be for me to find the insert that I'm looking for. I've tried to organize it by season or by shape and color based upon what makes sense for me. So for the ones that I made personally, I organized it by non-seasonal items in the front. And then once we get to things like Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Halloween, and then winter and Christmas kind of inserts. Then for the me, the me and my big idea inspirational cards, I first organized it by things like whether or not there's foil present on it. Then we go into glitter glitter and circular shapes, circular shapes, and then just rectangular, rectangular shapes. And so as you can see, I staggered it so that if I'm just flipping through here and I say, oh, I want a glitter circular shape, then I can easily just find it. Under my other category, I have pieces of scrapbook paper that I cut out from a scrapbook pad of paper. I have um, pocket cards. You can put Project Life cards and hole punch them also and use them as inserts. And then things like postcards in the back. And on the back cover, I just use the same portion of or the same divider that I use for the front cover so that it kind of all goes together. So I hope this video gave you some ideas for not just organizing your inserts but coming up with new ways to organize other supplies or accessories that you use for your planner. If you'd like to see more planner ideas please check out my Instagram at personalizemyplanner and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! Fight through